No, you're great. This is fun. Wait, the more questions you ask, the more fun I'm having. All right, here we go. So what do we do first? Yeah, so we want to minus that three, right? Now that becomes zero. Yeah. All the back, y'all. Okay, so we got negative two, tangent, theta. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. What's going to happen here? This is a fun one. Divide by negative two, right? Yeah. Okay, is that still zero? Yeah. So this is one of those ones, remember we had those hard ones? That we started with, with the zeros? So the zeros are the ones that stay end up here, or here, or here, or here. So we gotta talk about tangent. What is tangent? Okay? So tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Now that means the opposite side has to be zero. Right? Because you can't have the adjacent side be zero because if the adjacent side is zero and the opposite side is one, then you're gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be what? It's going to be undefined, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't have zero in the top, in other words. I mean, I'm in the bottom. So adjacent has to be one. Get this. One over zero. That's really what this is. I know it looks like a negative two, but what this really is is zero over negative over one. Now, it doesn't matter if this is one or if this is negative one. Correct? Because zero divided by negative one is still zero. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, but what matters is that the adjacent, and the only, the only triangle that has a one and a one in it is what? Uh, fucking 36 minutes. Yeah, but could anything have a zero? Yeah. Yeah, so now all of a sudden, we have a possibility of a 45-45 or a 30-60-90. This, is the, this one's a little bit harder, okay? Because if this side is zero, if the adjacent is zero, right? Mm -hmm. Then the opposite is one. That would be here. Right? Because the adjacent is going from, from 1 to 0. Right? That's what we want. Okay? The adjacent is going from 1 to 0. That's what we want. Okay? So that means that it's either here or here. If I have the point here, then that means the adjacent side is 1 and the, and the opposite side is 0. We can't have the opposite be. Wait. We have to have the opposite be zero, <laughs> don't we? Yeah. All right. So if we have an angle opposite, uh, as this angle goes up, then the adjacent becomes zero. We don't want an adjacent be zero, so we cannot have the adjacent be zero. So we do not want those. We want these. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the opposite side and the adjacent to become zero and the, and the adjacent to be one. All right, so what we want is either negative one or one. Okay? So, in that case, we're either going to have 180, or 0, or 360. Does that make sense? All of those will give us the same thing. So the tangent, on a scale from 0 to 180, they're saying theta is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 360. Right? That means that, they, that theta could equal 0, 180, 
or 360. Could be all three of those. Does that make sense? A little. A little bit. This goes back to the adjacent being one and your opposite, right? Your opposite getting smaller and smaller and smaller until your opposite is zero. We don't care about the opposite being zero. We care about your adjacent being zero. If adjacent becomes zero, it's undefined. So we can't have it coming this way. Does that make sense? Because this would be your opposite becoming one and your adjacent being zero. And that won't work. Just like coming down this way. Okay? Your adjacent's becoming one, or your opposite's becoming one, but your adjacent's becoming zero. If that adjacent goes to zero, it goes undefined. It blows up. So if this was undefined, we would want these two points. But because it's zero, we want these two points. Which so is 0, is 180, and 360. Huh? So if it's 0, it's 45-45? Actually, it doesn't matter on the 45-360 because it, we're talking about 0. Okay, then. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, I was going to tie it into 360. It doesn't matter. Okay. It just, it's 0.